In this short video, I'm going to show you two different ways to block an email address within Outlook on the web or Outlook online. So here I have an email account set up and I have one email open from this account here, which is this email address of noel-reply at mail.instagram.com. Now let's say for example, this is the email address I want to block. How do I block it? Well, the easiest way to do it is to locate an email right click on the email and then choose block and block sender. What this will then do once we click on the OK button is it will delete that particular email and it will stop any future emails from that address reaching our mailbox. So let's click OK. That email will now be deleted and any future emails won't come in. Now there's a second way that you can add an email address to the block sender list and this is preferable if for example you haven't received an email from them or you don't have one that you can right click on and block but you know what the email address is. The way that you do this is you go to the settings cog at the top right, then you choose junk email from this panel here and then you use the add button to manually add that address. So we'll click on add and then we'll type in the address. Once we've added the address, we'll just simply press the enter key and it will add it to that block senders list. Finally, we need to click on the save button to actually save those changes, otherwise that address won't be saved. So we'll click save and then we'll close this panel down and we now have two email addresses added to the blocked senders list. Now, if you want to make any changes to those or remove them, you just simply go to the settings cog, then go back into junk email. And if you want to update an address, let's say for example, you've made a typo here, you can click on the pencil icon for the address you wish to update and then make your changes. So this might actually be jim at coffeeclub.com. Then we press the enter key and we click on the save button. Or if we want to fully remove one of these email addresses or domains from this list, we simply click on the trash can. So let's remove both of these and then click on the save button, close this panel down, and we now no longer have any email addresses blocked for this account. Hopefully you found this video to be useful. If you did, hit that like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel.